That's one bright moon. Mozart, at long last I find you here. Keller let go of you? I was certain he'd set you free in short order. Let's be as discreet as possible, Venerable. We need to solve the mystery of this young man's death. You and me, here and now. Ah, we live in troubled times. Still, thankfully, Masons stay united in front of adversity. I'd like to open the reliquary. I believe something took refuge underneath it. The reliquary is a sacred coffer that hides a fragment of the secret of our wisdom. Only a great master can be authorized to open it and find out what's inside. I did see something take refuge under that box. What kind of thing, Mozart? I have trouble following you. I can't open the reliquary except for a matter of utmost importance. I do insist, Venerable. We absolutely need to open the reliquary. I'm sorry, Mozart. This is impossible. If I'd agree to such a thing and you would be witness to it, we would both be expelled from the fraternity. Maybe you should go rest at your hotel. You seem exhausted. You'll see things more clearly after a good night's sleep. When did you first meet Anton Epoch? Only today, when he came to the temple. I'd never seen him before. You had no preparatory meeting before you decided to submit him for an apprenticeship? I know this is unusual, but his father insisted on it being like that as a personal favor. You don't turn down Mishka Epoch when he asks for a favor. Don't mind me, Schultz. I'm just stealing your stuff. The old coat is wearing thin. The servants of the lodge should renew their wardrobe. Oh, there's a golden thread. This may come in handy. That's obvious. As I suspected before Keller started my interrogation, a leaded thread is needed to open the reliquary. A leaded thread, you say? Here's the thing that was under the piano. It looks like a sort of automaton in the shape of a beetle. It seems motionless. This belonged to young Epoch, no doubt. If Schultz is the only person who can open this reliquary, then surely he is the one responsible for Epoch's death. Carapus is locked by that tiny screw. I need to take it out. Here we go. It's open. Let's see. A mechanism inside the beetle seems to control how the animal moves. It doesn't seem to work for now. I believe one has to synchronize the machinery in order for it to start working. All the legs have to move at the same time. Hmm. So this winder does not actually work until we have completed this puzzle, which doesn't exactly help as you need to know which legs are out of sync. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, I stand corrected. I'm just going to go straight for the answer to save time. I believe it's this. That should work now. Still, it seems like it's asleep. Maybe something's missing. Why not? 
Maybe music can set the beetle in motion. You can definitely tell that I am very unfamiliar with this game. It's uncanny. The mechanics of the automaton has set itself to the tempo of the music. I wonder what could be the use of such an invention. There. There are some engraved words on the ventral plate. Cor Scarabaeus. Heart of the beetle? What does this mean? I believe that it's safe to click out now. Well, I hope so, otherwise we have to go through this all over again. Oh, hooray, another minigame. <laughs> well, the main thing is I passed. I will attempt to go for six stars off camera. Beats to the rhythm of Oh Not sure if I understand this correctly, but I know what the answer I guess we need to find out what this secret power is. That would make more sense. The secret power of the Premier. A secret related to Hiram, the first Freemason? A Freemason of higher grade would certainly be able to tell me more about it. troubled times. Still, thankfully, Masons stay united in front of adversity. I found some kind of mechanical beetle in the Founder's Salon. I believe Anton Epoch brought it in. Probably some kind of jewelry. Surely an invention of Mishka, his father. This strange object could be linked to the death of the lad. No, this is pure conjecture, Mozart. What do you call the secret power of the Premier? Precisely, I don't really know. I only have hints that this is related to the origins of the edification of the temple. That secret allowed Hiram to build it for Solomon. Hiram was slaughtered because of that secret. 
Now the Scots pretend they have recovered it in the form of an ancient manuscript in a chapel in Rosslyn, and Englander is in Prague to reveal it to me. Where can I find Englander? I must talk to him urgently. He's staying at the Robertsons while he's traveling with his family. Uh, that's a house by the Bridge of Stone, alongside the Muldo. I need to clear things up. I'm going to Robertson's now. Be careful, Mozart. You're in the thick of something you can't entirely grasp. Excuse me. The door was open, so I took the liberty of letting myself in. Is your master home? Whoa, that dog sure seems scary. I would have been very worried if a dog answered his back. I wanted to dine on my thigh. I need something to calm it down. Hmm, how about this? Not sure what's happened here, but still. Unbelievable. The hound seems to be under the spell of the beetle. It now seems willing to let me enter without any more trouble. So this thing flies as well. Oh, it's actually on the dog. There's an engravement on the book clip, but half of it is missing. Secret numbers and the golden number itself, 13. There's an engravement on the book clip, but half of it is missing. Yeah, just like this one. Once I have assembled them, the book clips form some kind of base. Now I'm able to read the full engravement. Raise the Titan Guardian following the rule of the golden number to stop the run of time. Don't make any mistakes, or the secret may stay hidden forever. Ah, so no stress then if we get it wrong. Some notes. Some Luigi Galvani writes to his editor. The book is almost finished, but he needs a bit more time. I can prove that the electrical fluid produced by muscular tissue is what triggers the movements of the limbs. That's quite an interesting theory. Here's a globe at the bottom of the pendulum. Here's a globe at the bottom of the pendulum. Oh, thank you for clarifying that again. I'm not sure what triggers the double dialogue. An engravement. I can't read it. The letters seem familiar, but they oddly point to the west. An engravement. I can't read it. The letters seem familiar, but they oddly point to the West. I hope that this is only an infrequent thing. At the height of the sun, the scale of mysteries lead to the guardian of the secret. The secret? The secret of the premier? His power? This house may well hide what I'm looking for. What is the link between the sun and the scale of mysteries? One thing's for sure, I have to find the so-called guardian. A miniature? This looks quite familiar.
I saw the Book of Harmonics flash. I'm guessing that we have another mini game. All right, let's try for a flawless run. So it does allow for one mistake. That the ladder res represents the sun. The seven. The seventh bar. Sun, it's height, the seventh step of the ladder. How could it take so long to understand? You have seen a, a ladder? Mm, that's locked. So this is the famous guardian, a statuette of Atlas. Still, I need to find out how I can use it to solve that riddle. That's what needs to be done, but I also need to set the base at the exact height. And how do we know what the exact height is? Especially if we do not, do not know where to use it right now. Here we go. It is now adjusted at the right height. The height of the golden number, 13 grades. Okay. Now I understand. And the clue here, apart from time, is that this pendulum represents a globe. This looks familiar. The man in black, like in the weird dream I had before the beginning of this strange adventure. What does it mean? That looks like some kind of magic lantern. So the ghost would only be an illusion. I need to learn more about this strange machine. This science of illusion is so strong that it may be considered magic, seen through weaker eyes. An empty slot. It looks as if a miniature is missing. For some reason, it's not letting me click on this mechanism. Even though it says that I can. That's really strange. Let me come out. No. I'm quite confused by this. 
There we go. The mechanism seems to be working, thanks to the cylinder. The image is blurry, just as if it was seen through poorly adjusted glasses. I mean, these descriptions were working during my practice run. The image is blurry, just as if it was seen through poorly adjusted glasses. We need to find a way to focus. And I guess we do that by putting something in the focus lens right here. The Emperor, his bedroom, the castle, and the waving hand. Mazzini tried to fool me with this machine of illusions. Why did he need to lead me to believe that the Emperor was in Prague? And if he's not, where might he be? So we have descriptions that do not trigger. We have some very strange goings on with the lighting. A weird bug with our inventory. What's next? Sounds like there's a fight going on next door. And who are you, sir? Who let you in? How about you? What was this ruckus that I heard? Were you in a fight or what? A fight you heard? Your hearing must be severely impaired. You should leave now. I won't leave before I get a chance to talk to the person who lives here. Please let him know I'm here. He's busy and does not care to see you. Hold on, aren't we the ones trespassing? We've entered this place of residence without being welcomed in. How do we know that this person does not live here? I believe I heard a fight. I haven't heard of any violence around here, sir. Where's Peter Englander? I need to talk to him now. I suggest you be more discreet. Some subjects are quite touchy when a young woman of good repute is involved. And yet, we are going to call her a gypsy. You have the look of a gypsy. How in the world could you be invited in the house for gentlemen like Englander? Absolutely. I am a bohemian, and though I wear my hair in a disorderly manner, that doesn't mean I am ashamed of my origins, sir. You seem a bit too scantily clad for a woman of virtue. A well-mannered man would try not to ask a woman such questions. Where are your manners, sir? Yeah, we've entered this place without being invited. It's late in the evening. And there's a scantily dressed woman here. I mean, why are we the ones asking the questions? Pardon me, but you're so scantily clad that I have to confess my trouble. I know, sir. Men are rarely unmoved when I so appear. I'd say everything about you is faithful to your ancestor's passion. You surprised me in a moment of weakness. I need to get my outfit tidy. Please, take this little mirror to help you refresh your appearance. I thank you for it. This little mirror will be quite handy to help me put some order in my untidy appearance. Alright, let's get out of here. Englander, what the hell?